welcome back so let's talk about another design pattern in microservice architecture which is called api gateway pattern and this we can implement using a project from spring boot called spring cloud gateway project so what this project does is it provides us a module or the library uh, which helps us to implement api gateway design design pattern for our microservice architecture and what api gateway pattern is it's basically hides the complexity of our microservices from the external clients so how it does that is if a client wants to connect to one or more than one of our services all the traffic will be going through the api gateway and the api gateway will route the request to the appropriate service so let's look at the picture so if we here see clear clear closely uh, this is our client and there are many kinds of clients so there are different people using mobile apps there is uh, another service or app chatbot or robots uh, maybe even drone who knows and then we have the browser so all they are trying to make call to our different services so if you see all this client request is going to first to api gateway and then api gateway based upon the url which is in the client request it knows which service it has to route traffic to so api gateway is taking the full responsibility of shielding our microservices from outside clients or hackers or attackers by taking complete control of the route traffic routing part so let's see what else api gateway does so api gateway basically handles the cross cutting concerns and what is that cross cutting concern any reusable functionality is called a cross cutting concern so like security monitoring rate limiting and resiliency so what it means is the security let's say this payment and service can be only accessed after login so this is taken care by api gateway via the help of uh, identity provider like key clock similarly if we see that some hackers or attackers are trying to do a ddos attack on our services by making millions of calls per minute then we can set a rate limit here in our api gateway stating that if we get uh, more than 500 calls per minute from the same ip address then we and if we keep on getting it for a few minutes then block that ip temporarily or only allow 2000 calls per minute something like that those kind of rate limits we can add so that no one can bombard and break down our services or break uh, make our services go crazy because by just making huge calls per minute so this is by adding throttling or rate limiting we can increase the resiliency of our services and they can become robust and that's why this api gateway pattern is very important because it does a lot of cross-cutting concerns like security monitoring rate limit and resiliency one another thing is that we can also check a lot of metrics at api gateway because here it also gives us information like which particular service was called how many times and which service respond with how many 400 errors how many 502 errors and how many 403 errors all those things on or how many service requests were successful 200 okay status so all these metrics we can see in api gateway hence it is a very important component in microservices architecture so the api gateway design pattern is very important when it comes to implementing microservice architecture so this is it for this video i will see you in the next video